All right, folks. All right, all right. I felt like streaming because I haven't really done that in a little while. Can't really announce it because, well, the person that's control in of my Twitter is Chris, who is asleep. So, not going to be announcing this at all. I we're just playing. I've been playing a ton of this high ping deck, and I actually got it to rank 13. I'm going to see how high I can go. Oh, it would be pretty cool if we actually got a gimmick deck to a reasonably high rank. That seems like fun, so I'm going to attempt to do that. Seems like an idea. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get a few good games at any rate. Probably gonna just stream for about an hour, give or take. Nothing too fancy. But yeah, my win rate with this deck is currently about 80%. But obviously now I'm hitting the high ranks where it could be a problem. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, 900 viewers already. Not bad for not telling anybody I was doing it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be any good doing it with a stream, though, because, I don't know, lately I've just sort of found this this level of quiet focus, I suppose, that's been helping me out a great deal. And I'm just making better calls, but I don't know if that's currently the case. All right. All right, so, do I want to wait? Well, the thing is, I've got a lot of stuff that I can use in this situation. Usually I'd hold on to the Mad Bomber, because I want to... Ouch. I want to try and use it to kill off a minion, but I actually have an Elven Archer and an Iron Forge Rifleman that are both very good at that, so... It should be fine. We'll see what he decides to drop. Dagger's coming out, so what? Backstab? Yeah, alright. Okay, well that's fine. I've got like quite a few sort of low HP minions, so I'm kind of glad that you used a backstab there. Alright, so I'm going to toss out the Iron Forge Rifle, and I'm going to kind of keep the pace with this deck I've found, even if it's a bit weird that you're firing damage at his face, and that doesn't sound like a good idea in theory. It actually kind of is in certain circumstances. Let me just uh, resize this little scrolling thing for you, so that we don't look horribly profession unprofessional. There we go. There we go. That, that should do nicely. If I streamed enough of this, I'd make a proper overlay. Not that I think there's much of an overlay required, but I'll think about it. Alright, so he burned Deadly Poison, hit that in the face. Alright, cool. Yep, that's going fine. Uh, Keeper of the Grove here is a decent enough play, because it doesn't die to this. So we'll do that. You are, like, It's a fairly slow deck, and it's more about control than anything else. So very, very slowly, you chip away at them. And you hopefully get good trades. I mean, right now I haven't been able to get any trades. That's a concern. Like, I don't know what's in his hand. So, it could be messy. Mana Radic coming out in Eviscerate combo. Alright. Okay. Well, it's not the best play ever. But, I mean, he needed to do it to combo it with something. So, his Mana Radic doesn't really benefit from that. Okay. So, what's our follow-up to that? Well, it's not going to be... We could go for Abomination. That's six to the face for him. And it kills his Mana Radic. Maybe not the best use of an Abomination, but it, it keeps the tempo up for us. We don't want to be throwing down lots of little cards that are being burnt through. That's not a good idea. So, yeah, I'm going to throw down the Abomination. It's not going to... It's of no risk to me, and it's going to do damage to him. And that damage does... Slowly, slowly... Build up. Alright, nice combo for him. So he's going to take a bit less damage to the face, so he'll throw the 3-3... Three, three at that to kill it. He'll take two to the face and he still doesn't waste his wicked knife with deadly poison. Now for those who don't know, this is the high ping deck. The gimmick of this deck is that every single card does damage in some way. Every minion must do damage with their card text. So it's a... What on earth is he... What, what is he doing? Ah, right, okay. Well, that looks painful, but all things considered, that's actually pretty bad for him. Assuming I can stay alive. He just burned a lot to make that happen, and this is going to explode right about now. So how do we want to do it is the question. Well, if we starfire it, that works pretty well, because that gets us a card, but we currently have a card advantage anyway. 
So what I'm thinking is Stormpike Commando Elven Archer. That puts multiple threats on the board, and it eliminates that. So that worked fairly well. But yeah, that was a pretty big hit. It depends how much burst he's got. We know he's already used an Eviscerate. There's his other backstab coming out. It's unfortunate that it ended up landing on that. But I still, I, I do still have threats I can use. So he's eliminated that. He's eliminated that. He's used the sap already. Ah, classic. Uh, I think we toss the abomination out again. Actually, that's just a big scary threat, and we don't want to pop out either of those just in case he has his other eviscerate ready. So now we just start to pressure him from here. Beta keys for what exactly? Shiv. What's his follow-up? And I'm okay with him burning a bunch of cards on that abomination. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so he's not doing anything yet. Good. Okay. Oh, now this is a damn good track. Gonna love this. I need to turn that up a little bit. It's too epic to leave quiet. Alright, to the face. There we go. I still don't really want to play a minion here, so now let's turn the tables. You want to do damage? Okay, I can do damage. We can do damage. So what you can do with this is, especially if I'm drawing things like swipes into my hand and getting things like Baron Geddens, suddenly you can kind of turn it around, put on a bit of burst after controlling them for a while, and then start to force them to make some nasty calls to try and stay alive. So we'll see where it goes. Coin on the way out. Is that going to be a... What's he going to do with that? He takes another hit to the face. SI7 Agent. That takes that out. What's his follow-up to that? Does he have anything like... No. Interesting. And... Hmm. That is... Very interesting. Okay. So I'm down to 14. He's got three cards in his hand. I have double swipe. So, GG. Sorry. Goodbye. There we go. Surprisingly works fairly well. Like, you'd be surprised how many of those situations I end up being in. Like, you just, you wait it out, you're a bit patient, you let him burn out some of his burst, and then you come out with a counterpunch. And he doesn't have time to respond to it before you can drop just unholy hell on him. I suppose that's the essence of what control is, really, isn't it? Oh, ooh, that's a, that's a pretty good hand. I like that. We'll keep both of those. I think I'll toss the Elven Archer based on the fact that I've got coin. I'd rather maybe get a three or a four. There's a three. Okay, that's all right. I'll dig that. So we'll see what he plays. It's a priest, so it can be pretty annoying. Although, I, I, since I've got coin, it's okay. Like, priest drops maybe a... One of those uh, priestesses or whatever. The Northshire Clerics on turn one. Things start to get unpleasant. All right, interesting. So I've got a number of options to start up here. I could open up with a Mad Bomber, but I'm more than likely going to open up with a Knife Juggler instead. It's a it's a better play. The Mad Bomber's still available there, just in case he drops something. I want to do a little bit of extra damage. Mad Bomber combined with the Gnome is a little risky, but it can often result in a kill. Yeah, yeah, feel free to give out codes in chat. That's fine if you want to do that. Alright, so, let's see. Wild Pyromancer is the best option here. Unleash the knives. Don't want to unleash the Mad Bomber just yet. Injured Blade Master coming out. And a Circle of Healing combo. Very nice from him. Very nice. Yep, that's a good old Artosis combo. Can we punish him for it? A kind of a bit. Not completely. It depends on our bomber's luck here. So we have three mana. So what we want to do is Elven Archer to try and get a knife out. And then we want a Mad Bomber. 
possibly kill one of our own dudes in the process. Okay, so we go for two for one trade here, but it's bear in mind it's not actually a two for one trade. You might think, oh, it's a two for one trade. It's not. He used the the injured blade master as two components: the injured blade master and the circle of healing. So there's no point in me throwing out the mad bomber here because it's a risk of killing one of my own minions, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get a preferential trade outside of that. Whatever I do, actually, no. I may, st it, it's kind of still worth it, but it's also a little bit risky. Like, statistically, it's not going to be hitting the Injured Blade Master that much. So I'm probably better just trading these two minions into it. Yeah. That's the better call. Like, the Mad Bomber is a bit of a risk. If it did a decent amount of damage and the knife then hits, then I could maybe get a trade out of it. But I need two hits, which is statistically unlikely. And then I'd need the knife to also hit. So I, I don't dig that. All right, Thought Steel. So that's kind of annoying, but it doesn't mean anything on the board. So that's whatever. Don't want to play the iron, the Mad Bomber right now for obvious reasons. Going to go for the Rifleman. Start to go for his face. I definitely do not trust the Bomber. Not at all. Aha, uh -huh. can we trust his bomber? Aha, uh -huh. see, this is why you don't trust the bomber, ladies and gentlemen. But he used the bomber to combo into another card, which is a very cool thing to do. By cool, I mean you're a bastard. But I think Stormpike Commando is probably the right way to go here. It's a four, so that's pretty good. Really good against a priest, so no nasty shadow of death. So there's a, there's a decently large threat on the board that he has to deal with. I think that works. He does have a coin advantage. Well, card advantage, sorry. Which is to be expected, I suppose. I should probably put the deck list in here somewhere. I don't know if I have a good way of capturing that, though. Usually when I do that, I get Chris to do the edits. So he's got a few cards over me, but I've got a better board. Still got my Nightblade. Oh, here's another one. Mm, don't agree with that. Doesn't seem like the best way to go. Uh, toss the Nightblade out, I think. I'm not putting the Leponome out because it allows for card draw. Yeah, Holy Nova, just to get rid of that, doesn't really seem like it was worthwhile. Like, if he was able to get a card out of it as well, then maybe, but... Oh, Holy Fire going on. All right. It's not too shabby. It might. Okay, Mad Bomber plus possible Wrath is a pretty good bet here. Oh, Holy Bomber. Oh, that's close enough. Close enough. So that'll get me the, the one damage there for the card. And then we can safely play the Leponome after that. Because I need those cards. I'm lagging behind a little bit in terms of card draw. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. The main problem this deck has against Priest is it's got a couple of big heavy hitters and both can be mind controlled. So that's fairly unpleasant. I've not had a huge success rate against priests. Oh, how can he sell priests coming out? That means that 3 2 goes pop. It's never nice. Oh, Mind Blast follow up as well. All right. Really throwing down, aren't we? Okay, best way to deal with this probably Keeper of the Grove for two, followed by Shapeshift and run the 2 1 in. And then follow up with another Leponome there. So I've taken a bit of damage, which is not brilliant. And I'm, again, kind of in a card card situation. It's not too good. Based on what I've seen so far, I've obviously not traded that well. I'm hoping just to get one turn when I can actually make something happen. Mostly just being... Oh, there's... Wow, he used his other Holy Fire on a 2-4. Whoa! He just Holy Fired himself. What the hell? 
Are you kidding me? I... Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> it's what I would call that. That's no holy fire. Well, that sucks. Good lord. I think he's playing on iPad. I bet he's playing on iPad. That's what made him do that. Friends don't let friends play on iPad. Oh my god. Okay. Open up. Open fire with everything we've got. There we go. Holy shit. <laughs> That's another way of putting that. Oh no, the elven archer he stole from my deck has come back to haunt me. He's gonna buff it. Why is he... What's he buffing that for? You need... Oh. He's, he nicked a starfire as well. What a bastard. Come on, a bastard. Okay, well, if that's all he got, then I suppose that's not too bad. Abomination, those are always fun. Mind control, a real possibility with that. Could cause some problems, although not the worst thing ever. Let's think about burst. Let's think about the good times. Let's think about the boogie. Let's think about punching this guy in the face as many times as possible. He has no... I mean, this is not what I'd call board presence. It thinks it's board presence. It looks like board presence. To some people, it is not really board presence. As your Drake. I'm not really sure what this priest deck actually is. Like, I, things, I don't know about the meta, really, because I play at low rank most of the time with gimmick decks, so I don't know what the meta really is. Holy Nova. That was nice for him. Okay, we're going places. We're going places, definitely. Thinking the swipe to just remove the Azure Drake would not be the worst thing I've ever done in my life. It's either that or I pop the Abomination, which means he just trades the 4-4 for it and then kills my 2-1 in the process with the explosion, which doesn't make a huge degree of sense, so I think we're just going to swipe that. There we go. And then play the Abomination, maybe. I'm still a bit concerned about mind control, but if I put this pressure on the board, I've got lethal next turn, unless he's able to answer it. So let's see what he can come up with. Wild Pyromancer to kill my 2-1. Nice move. Follow-up is... A Smite. And... Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I need a Staff... Ah, damn. It's not enough now. Oh, it is still. I need a Starfire... That would be nice. Wrath. I'd like for that to be enough, but it's not. So, But that doesn't mean we do get to pop that. Before it is able to do anything. Okay, so he's pretty low, but I, I'm i kind of out of steam at this point. So, unless my knife juggler gets some work done, I could be in trouble. We'll see. We'll see. Ouch. Okay, yep, I'm in trouble. He's gonna heal himself up to seven. If I can pull... Well, he, oh, he's not gonna heal himself. Ah. Well, I guess we Moonfire. Get rid of that. Keep hitting him. What did he pull now? Can he take me... Can he kill me with a... I don't know. A priest killing me with 18 points? He's burned both holy fires? No. And oh, he's healing himself now, so this is starting to get really annoying. I say, I've, I've kind of burned out at this point. I need to kill him earlier than this, and now I'm in serious trouble. Okay, Mad Bomber. It's up to you. Make it happen. Oh, Mad Bomber. Oh. My dear. My love. Alright, so we're still in it. But I don't have the firepower right now. And I'm probably not going to be able to draw either. Basically, I need the other Starfire and then a draw. And then a good, you know, make sure that draws a good one if I want to finish him off. Because otherwise, like, I'm basically out of damage. Oh my fucking god, why? Yep, that sucks. <sighs> I've used both my swipes, haven't I? Alright, Starfire. Do I... 
That's only going to do five. I need to do five damage with four mana on the draw, which I'm not going to be able to do. Shit. What is the correct option here? I don't think there is one. I think I'm dead. I don't think there's anything in my deck that I could draw that with four mana would kill him. Five damage on four mana? No, that's not going to happen. The best approach is to starfire that and hope to draw my other wrath. Four. <laughs> four. Well, at least it kills the rag, so I'm still in the game. Still in the game, for the moment anyway. I think it's just going to be a slow, painful death from here, but I'm still in it. Oh shit, son. Oh shit, it's on. It's on. Time for revenge, Rag. We're not dead yet. Go on, Rag, give it to him. Well, that works too. Here's the mind control. Come on, I know you got it. Drop the mind con- Fuck you, or that. Or any of the million and one other ways a priest can deal with that card. Son of a bitch. Alright, while well, the game continues. Hang on a minute. Ooh, ooh. Potential fatigue win. Okay, let's see. Let's keep applying that pressure. I still have... I still have a... A Baron Geddon. Still have a Baron Geddon. <laughs> Here's all my shadow words that I saved the entire fucking game. Ah, infuriating. Elven Archer is at least enough to kill this off. Okay. So we'll be doing that. I don't know if me taking another three damage is a good idea. But I gotta keep that shit off the board. I don't want to establish any board presence. I can't let him have a 3-2 that has that effect. Okay, he's down to uh, two cards. Ooh, Senjin. Ouch. I have Baron Geddon. Oh, a bomb! A bomb! Interesting. My kingdom for a bomb. Alright, and armor. I have a- I still have Geddon! I've got Geddon left! The problem is, if I'm on low health, Geddon will kill me, so... He is on his last card right now. And now he's gonna start taking fatigue. This is getting tense. This is getting very tense. Can I make it happen? Can I make it happen? So I've got what? I'm trying to think back through what I've got. So I'm out, pretty, I'm out of Starfires, I'm out of Swipes. I think I have one Wrath left, although, no, actually, I've used both my Wraths, too. Almost certain of that. Is he gonna stand his ground? I guess he will. While Pyromancer can't play it, unfortunately. I think we stand our ground in this situation and we don't attack. Yeah, I think, I think we hold. I don't want to take another three damage. And I also want to prevent him from playing more stuff. So I think we hold. Alright, okay, fatigue time. Let's begin. He does have healing. So but the thing is I have like a three I have three more cards than he does. So I think I win the fatigue battle pretty handily. He's gonna heal that. Does he have a follow-up? Please tell me he doesn't have a follow-up. Did I make the wrong call? Fuck! I made the wrong call. I should have attacked it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I made the wrong call. Where's my Baron Geddon? Well, I don't want it now, for obvious reasons. That's GG. That sucks. Oh, God. Why? Oh, fuck. Oh. Shit, I... I played that completely wrong. I should have killed the Sentient Shield Master when I had the chance. That was fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, 
and there's no way out of this. Yeah, I got nothing. Um, I can maybe live one more turn. What do I do? Damage to it. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> He's going to heal it anyway. Oh, that was rough. Well, it can't kill me this turn. I'm, I'm pretty sure it can't kill me this turn, just straight up. It doesn't really matter what I sh what I shot at because it was just going to get healed anyway. And it's, it's got to be Geddon now, right? There it is. Yeah. Geddon is not... Geddon actually now kills me. <laughs> ah, sodding hell. Oh, it's so frustrating. Yeah, Baron kills me now. Well, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out and...